What's up, thugs? I just wanted to come in here real fast and show some of my Altoids things. Um, <clears throat> I showed this one on a video before, a couple videos ago. It's a Altoids USB emergency charger thing. Uh, it's got the little LED light and yeah, there's tons of videos on these. Um, and stuff you could do with Altoids. And I've had this one for not long. I've had this one for eight months, six, eight months, something like that. Um, but yeah, this is just, uh, I put little caps on, on the 9 volts so they're not banging around in there touching stuff. But uh, you just plug them both in and as long as they're plugged in, you have power. Don't really like that part of it that it's constant power until you unplug them and then you have you know bare stuff in there don't really like that so I think in that video of how I made this and what all it has I said I wanted to make a different one and I did finished it about a week ago um, but yeah there's that one I like how Altoids it doesn't have to be Altoids tins it could be anything but Altoids just look like you just have mints with you, except for this one. <laughs> but uh, they look like you just have mints with you, you know. It's not going to be anything crazy, and you can make cool little survival kits and stuff. But uh, this this one's mine. It's got a little bit of electrical tape, a, a straight razor, and I think one or two box cutting razors. Uh, some cotton. This actually was packed completely tight, but I had a a smashed roll of electrical tape in there that I actually needed to use so I need to make another one. I have this little Gerber dime I like the fact that it has scissors this like pry tool slap, well it's a bottle opener but it could be used as a makeshift pry tool um, I like it has tweezers and of course the pliers this one actually I got it brand new and threw it straight in here didn't even use it because I'd rather it be a backup because this is actually there's you can see there's still oil on there because this is the warranty replacement from one that I had that not even putting hardly any pressure on it the handles just bent and then there was the pliers were all loose so don't really like Gerber at all but this is a uh, cool little backup um, this is just something my grandpa had, like he has like bags and bags of these, all different styles. This one has two blades and then this screwdriver slash bottle opener. There's ones in there with files and stuff. He gave them all to my dad before he died and I just grabbed one of them. Uh, my dad carries, this is all my dad carries knife wise pretty much. Um, he loves these little things because they fit in that little extra pocket that you have in jeans. But uh I'm not gonna take it all out. But uh matches, couple zip ties, a bobby pin, uh which could be used, you know, to pick locks and stuff like that. Um I think there's a little bit of emergency money down there. Or maybe I took that out. But there's ibuprofen, um antibiotic uh ointment stuff like that but I mean I didn't spend a whole lot of time on this I just threw it all together and some people make some crazy ones some people have ones with compartments little mini Altoids tins like inside like one this way and one this way to keep stuff in separate I don't know I didn't want to get crazy with it but I just have a uh, rubber band that goes around that I just keep this in my car I already used the tape. Um, I think I used some of the ibuprofen too, the painkillers. And then, this one is cool. This is the uh, one I mentioned in the video where I showed this one. I made one, a emergency charger with a solar panel on it. It just has those uh, little double tape adhesive squares holding it on. Um, Radio Shack, this was like $9.99 for the solar panel. 
Um, it was two dollars, I think, for the three-way switch. And then uh, it was like I got the, this at the dollar store. The the charger itself, or the the unit that you make into a charger. But uh, here here it is. Yeah, nice cut job, huh? No, uh, 9 volts always hooked up. No power when the switch is in the middle. I have it set up so that center is off for everything. And then uh, this way, towards you, is 9 volt power. So right now you can charge your phone on the 9 volt. And then there's no charge on it because it's been inside for a week. But, uh, that's off everything. Yeah, no charge. Eh, my teeny tiny bit lit. But uh, this way is solar. So if you were to, you know, have it sitting in the sun like that, I probably, if I were to use solar, I would not have it completely closed. You know, I would have it open just because it's a metal box. And I might have it, like, propped up at the sun. I don't want this getting super hot in there, especially if the sun's beating on it, and then this is also producing power and heat through the switch, and this, you know, I just, I don't think I would do that. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, pretty simple. Pretty simple. Same exact thing that I showed in that. Um, you have your power on your ground, and it took me about half an hour to figure out how the three-way switch actually operates. It operates different than you would think. It has six prongs. It's basically two, four, six prongs. And you would think that they all go together. Like, you would have the two wires from this across from each other. Or the two... Or no. You would think that they would cross. I forget how it freaking works, but, uh... It's opposite of what you would think. Uh, when you... When you toggle it one way, there's actually a little pieces of metal that make contact and it's the opposite way what you would think so I rigged it up that way battery center off everything this way solar um, someone was saying to me that it'd be it'd be pretty cool to have a rechargeable 9 volt battery and when you turn it the solar way have it charging the 9 volt so you always have 9 volt but I like the idea of Maybe just in your go bag or something, or not your go bag for shit hit the fan situations, but uh, if you're camping or something, just have like two extra nine volts. I mean, they take up no room. Um, just have a couple in there for if there is no sun, but hell, I like the idea of just flipping the switch towards uh, solar and just sitting there and letting your phone charge. But, uh, yeah, there it is. I haven't seen any out there yet. Uh, I would kind of like to. You know, different takes on maybe someone doing where the solar charges your 9 volt or something along those lines. Just something different and cool. Um, this obviously makes it not look like just a tin of mints. So, neither does this, but, you know, people won't really see that. But who cares? Who cares? I was thinking of maybe attaching down here some sort of flip over case with Velcro over here to protect this. But I mean, it's real thick, kind of plexiglass ish type stuff. So I don't think it'll actually crack or break. But um, also, I did test the solar. I had it, uh, I brought it to work. And on my break, I was showing this one guy, and on break I sat it in the sun uh, with the solar on and then brought it inside and it was completely lit up. This was this was as bright as that. So it does work, and I don't know how any how crazy long extended charging would go, if it might heat up and maybe cause some problems, but uh, yeah, made a, made a cool thing for... Let's see, two bucks for the Altoids, a dollar, um, another dollar, 
two dollars for the switch and ten bucks so for like fifteen bucks give or take a little bit you have a cool homemade homemade solar emergency charger and I know you can probably buy them but I like making stuff I like figuring stuff out um, but yeah if anyone is interested that is how you make it you make it just the same as that but you just get a three-way switch and toggle it in there and give yourself some options all right anyway that's it um, just wanted to jump in real fast and show you some of my Altoid stuff. I don't have any plans of making anything else crazy, but I just thought this would be cool to share. Have a good one.